This is a bad idea. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to another video. So as you guys saw over the last couple of weeks, I managed to create this quite unique looking front end for the FE3 Turbo W203. I'd just like to add, I really appreciate you guys' comments on kind of ideas and what I can do with the bumper. But I think for now, until we get around to doing some of the bodywork, I'm just going to leave it like this. There is still a hell of a lot of work to do in the engine bay. And if I make it look all good now, I think it's just going to get all scratched up. But I am glad to see that you guys like this whole idea as well. But as you can see, we have the car in the air, all four of the wheels removed because, well, I think it's way too high. I already went ahead and got one coil cut out of the front coil springs. And the idea for this video is to cut one more coil out of the front. And then because the rear coils are a bit more dense, um, I'm going to be cutting two out of them and my guesstimate is that we are going to lower the car by another 70 millimeters between 70 millimeters and 100 millimeters and I think that's going to be perfect. Now I know this is not the way to go but I cut the coils on the M104 turbo and I mean I've had great luck with it. I think having the car lower to the ground is going to make a huge difference on how it looks and that's just going to add to the splitter the whole look of it and then at the back like I said way back the idea is still to build a wing for it and then the exhaust. I'm super excited to get started on the exhaust but that's going to have to wait for another day. For now I also do have everything to make those boost pipes. So in last week's video I really wanted to get started on the boost pipes but unfortunately didn't get around to it but in this video we're going to be doing the boost pipe. So it's going to have two 76 millimeter boost pipes from the intercooler over there to the throttle body over there and then from over there to the turbo over there. And as you can see I already got started so not much left to do so I think We'll get started off with that because I'm really curious to see how that's going to affect the whole look of the front end. And then once we get all that sorted, we'll move on to cutting those coils. Oh, and one more thing about the wheels. So we'll also be changing up the way the wheel bolts onto the car because we added a 20 millimeter spacer in the front and then a 35 millimeter at the back. So we'll be adding some studs to that once I can find some, but there is one more place that I can go look. Hopefully I can get them and then we can get the wheels sorted out because like it is now, I only have like one stud in each wheel just to be able to move the car around. But okay, I can literally talk all day about all the plans I have for this thing, but that's not going to get the work done. So let's get to it.
right, so it's the next day. It's a hot one today. I think it's like 35 degrees outside right now. But anyway, last night I got around to getting all those pie cuts stack welded on there so that we can see the basic shape of the boost pipes. I have to say that hole, pretty glad I haven't got around to fixing it yet because it worked well to check for clearances. This worked super well because when you look at it from the side, uh, the, the sprinklers just went off, but when you look at it from the side, you would think that the boost pipes will hit the hood over there, but it's perfect. There's more than enough space. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this is turning out. I think it looks super good. Look at those stainless steel boost pipes, baby. Took me a while to figure out all the angles of the pie cuts and everything but now everything is tack welded together and we can fully weld it but i'm gonna wait on that for a little while until it cools off a bit for now i do want to move on to the suspension unfortunately i still can't find any of those wheel studs so i've been to six places now but luckily i ordered some and they should be uh within the next week or so so for now we can cut the coils i do have one wheel nut for each wheel so we can get the wheels back on there so i'm really excited to get that done so i don't want to get the shocks and the coils off of the car so i'm going to try to do it on the car i think i can do the front like that but the rears i'll probably have to get out of there but it's not too hard i think there's only like two bolts so i'm going to throw the gopro on my head and i'm going to show you guys how i do it all right so let's see uh, i don't know how well you guys can see because the gopro is uh, not very good in low light situations but i'm gonna take these coil spring compressors and just compress the spring take some of the pressure off and then we'll just cut it over here removing one more coil works out pretty good i just have to cut over here um, so I don't need to get the angle grinder into an awkward space. So let's see if I can get these on and take the pressure off the coil. I think this might work. So I had to move these around because I'll be cutting over here. So I can't have one over here. Then I'll, it'll just shoot loose when I cut it. So now I can take the angle grinder and make a cut over there. And I think we should be good. This is a bad idea. Okay. Uh, there we go. No turning back anyway. Coil is a bit loose in there. I guess we'll see when we lower it back down. Now on to the other side. and just like that the front is done now we can move on to the back i have no idea if this is actually going to work i might have just ruined this whole suspension but let's do the back and i guess we'll see at the back i think the easiest way to go about this is going to be to remove the coil loosen up the shock unbolt that and then we'll use the jack to lower this arm down and get the coil out and then cut it while it's in there i'm just going to mark where i want to make the cut so we'll be cutting out two coils right
slowly down. That's easy enough. Cut, cut. That's not supposed to happen. All right, so I got everything tightened back up. So the first little issue we might have with this whole situation is when and if I do go to jack up the car, these coils loose in there. There's a slight chance when I lower the car back down, they won't slide into their places and they might even fall out. Nothing I can do about that now. The cuts have been made. Only thing left to do is to throw the wheels back onto the car and see how low this thing is. All right, so moment of truth. <laughs> I'm just gonna lower it slowly and check on those coils. They slide back into their places. I'm sure it'll be fine. All right. Okay, it seems a little bit lower. <laughs> These shocks aren't too great. Okay, let's see what happens if we do the front. <laughs> Those booze pipes though, they young. Hopefully the splitter isn't gonna be a problem. Guess we'll have to see. Here goes nothing. No way. <laughs> That's so close. <laughs> oh my goodness. How perfect. <laughs> Tell you what, I did not expect it to turn out damn near perfect. Now, I don't know how well you'll be able to tell on camera, but it does seem to sit a bit higher up in the front. But we need to remember, we still need to add about 100 kilograms worth of stuff in the engine bay. So that's also kind of perfect. Ended up 
lowering the car by 90 millimeters at the back and then up in the front we lowered it by i think 60 millimeters we'll have to figure out some kind of limiting straps or something for those coils so that they don't fall out but that won't be too hard and then also about the boost pipes i did not finish welding them up because i'm kind of running a bit low on argon gas for the tig welder and i really want to get started on the exhaust next week that's going to be about it for this week's video i really hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please hit that like button i hope you like the car now that it sits much lower to the ground i think it looks so freaking good anyway i'll see you in the next one